Sean Sewell with InGamer.com, the beautiful mounds of Colorado, testing out the new Arc'teryx Cerium jacket, this guy right here. It's the newest version, the 2023 version. There's been some upgrades and improvements to it, and in this review, I'm gonna show you the specs, features, functions, and how it fits on me. So let's get into it. First and foremost, sizing. I am six foot one, 210 pounds, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist, 36, 37 on the arms. This is a men's extra large. It is a superb fit. One of my favorite things about Arc'teryx is often the fit, as well as the function. They always function really well. They're also very stylish, very attractive. Um, I'll put the color below. Can't remember the color. It's like a midnight gray, I think is what they call it. It's uh, almost a blue, not quite black, as you can see there. Very attractive. Upgrade this year, it is no longer a 10 denier. It is a 15 denier material. Uh, still very robust. In fact, <laughs> this was not part of the testing process that you should do, but uh, our dog, Chloe, is a border collie mix, very, very hyper, and I was um, out running with her, and she likes to uh, nip at my hip to keep me in line, collie, that's what they do, and she was real feisty a couple days ago, and she actually bit my hip and bit the jacket, and I had, I looked down and I was assured I was gonna see a bunch of goose feathers everywhere, but no, it, it was stood a dog nipping, biting at my hip, had dog slobber all over it, but the material, is totally fine. As you can see here, I, I can't tell you where it was, where it happened. Um, speaking of down, it is 850 fill down. That's about as good as it gets. 850 fill down is going to be more loft per uh, weight than 800 fill. Um, it is not waterproofed. Uh, it's RDS, responsible down source. You can feel good about that. Uh, there's, there's only like a few things I can possibly think of for this jacket to be more improved. One of them would be if it was a waterproofed, water resistant down. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different ver varieties out there we've covered in other jacket reviews. That would just be even better. But, you know, I'm asking for a lot there. The fit is fitted. That's what they call it. As you can see, it covers my rear very well. Um, it's a fantastic fit. The arm length is perfect. The hood is great, is adjustable. I'll show you that here in one second. Hood covers real, real well. It is a very comfortable, warm jacket. As you did see though, it has a tiny zipper. I'm not the biggest fan of tiny zippers, especially when I use these jackets in colder temperatures. Right now it's about 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Coolest I've had this down to is two degrees, and that was two days ago. It was up on Vail Pass testing on moon bikes, which is an electronic snow bike. I had this under a hard shell, and I'll show a picture of that here in a second. And it did fantastic for that. It's not just 850 fill though. There's a special synthetic core loft insulation in the cuffs here and around the neck a little bit. Places that, um, you know, uh, they, they figured would be better to be uh, synthetic insulation for a variety of reasons. You know, of course, it's uh, synthetic doesn't really wet out. Uh, well, when it does get wet, it doesn't lose its insulative properties like downwood. However, back to my original point, I think it'd be awesome if they just put, included waterproof to down in the first place and then get rid of the core loft and keep it even lighter weight. Speaking of weight, this guy came in at 13.9 ounces. And if I can remember, I'll put a picture below me weighing it on my scale at home, making it 394 grams. That's very, very lightweight. Um, on the inside, you do get one pocket. It is a, it's a decent sized pocket. You could store your, your phone in there, what have you. It comes with a stuff sack. It will stuff into this sack. Um, as you may recall from the thousand other videos I do, um, I don't usually use the stuff sacks. So I just kind of roll up into the hood and um, call it good. While I have you in here, there's no drop pockets. That's the only other thing I could think to make this jacket better. If they had drop pockets, this would be my absolute favorite down jacket and I would use it all the time. However, I use drop pockets daily. I put my, um, you know, I always joke you can put some tall boys in there or sandwiches, but realistically I put my gloves, uh, you know, put my gloves, I keep them in there and a beanie. And then I always have them ready to go. Uh, I should be wearing my gloves right now, it is 10 degrees, but I don't know why I'm not. But uh, speaking of pockets, you do get two hand pockets right here. Not particularly too low and definitely not too high. Um, so if you're a climber, you know, this probably will get in the way of some stuff, but it's, most of us, you know, um, for, for the uses we're probably gonna use it for, a lot of you probably use it for casual use in the winter. 
I use it for split boarding, winter camping, which we do a lot of, and um, of course, uh, layering up, and, um, and as, as well as casualties. That's a very attractive design. As you can tell here, it's a very good looking jacket. It's Arcteryx. MSRP is $400. So that is a, uh, you know, that is on the higher end compared to some other jackets. And in fact, my next video I'm going to shoot, I'm going to do a comparison to other ones in this category. So if you are curious about other jackets um, in this category for 800 to 800 plus down filled jackets, consider subscribing to our Gamut YouTube channel. That is going to be a very helpful video for a lot of you out there. Um, I won't tell you brands in this one because I'm trying to keep it just to our Arcteryx. Speaking of Arcteryx, we have three other jackets in the lineup to review. I personally had the Adam LT, which I, just the jacket, not the hoodie. Uh, I've had the LT hoodie for, I don't know, 10, 12 years. I absolutely love that one. A lot of our riders and team love that jacket too, so I have the new version of that. Stay tuned for that. And then and the woman on our team, my wife, actually, Samantha Sewell, hot dog if you know her personally, is going to be doing a review on the Proton. And then Abby Gottinger is going to do a review on another version of the Proton as well. So stay tuned, women and men, if you're looking for buy gifts for your family, friends, partners, wives, stay tuned for those reviews. We'll have those up here next few weeks. Right. I am Sean Sewell, the owner and the director of Stoke for Ingearment.com. Hopefully it's helpful to see the Arcteryx Serium on a human being, the new version. Uh, they did change names, they got rid of the LT, so it's just the Serium now. This is the Midnight Gray, Midnight Blue. I'll, I'll correct that in the titles below. If you want to purchase one, I'll put a link below. Uh, we don't have an affiliate set up with the uh, Arcteryx, but they did provide these this jacket and other three jackets for us to test. So uh, the opinions we have are our own. We're not paid to sponsor anything by Arcteryx. We're just real people who go out in the real world and really use this stuff and hope you find it helpful. If you did, thumbs up would be appreciated. If you've got any comments or questions, and I hope you do, I know you do, you got tons. This is why we have this jacket. You guys put comments on other brands' videos about this jacket, so here it is. Stay tuned for the comparison to other ones too. Until next time, take care.